Hello and welcome to our channel. If you like what you see here, please hit subscribe and like. Today we're going to be making a pumpkin obelisk. So here I am at the local Rona store going through their garbage, getting their scrap metal straps. Great, great resource for that. Sometimes you can check construction sites as well. So now I'll go to my selection of straps. I'll be making four of them. So I measure out 45 inches. I mark it and then I cut it. And then like I said, I'll be making four of those. That will give us the nice obelisk shape that we're looking for. And then when I'm uh, cutting them, I'll be using a pair of straight cut tin snips because tin snips do come in a right, left and a straight direction, just so you know. So I use a straight one, so I get a straight cut. Then once I've finished getting the four straps, I'll remeasure again to find the center, which should be 22 and a half. So I'll mark that center piece, and then I'll mark from each end, another half inch to three quarter inch for another drill hole placement there. So there's one in the center and one on each end. And then I'll drill those out. Sometimes I use a punch that usually helps to make the drilling a little easier so that the drill bit doesn't slide all over the metal. It's just time consuming. And then when you are drilling, make sure not to go too fast. You can drill very fast at the beginning until you sort of get a pool of metal shavings and then slow it down a bit so that the torque of the drill doesn't spin it around on you. Here we are using a trim clad rust paint, real orange. It's from another project, so it too is recycled. So we're trying to make this as, as cheap and recycled as possible. And now I'm just straightening out the bands here so that they're relatively flat, getting ready to paint them. So I just placed them on these uh, little boards that I have here. I placed them pretty close together so I'm not wasting a lot of paint either. Then wait for them to dry, flip them over and do the other side. And uh, when you're painting them, just use a nice even stroke. It does cover pretty good so you don't have to waste a lot of paint. As you can see here, just nice easy strokes. And it's really good coverage so it's handy. I like to do this after I do the drilling too, so you don't have to wreck any paint by, you know, having the drill bits spin off. And just another point, we're using a quarter inch drill bit. So that'll hold our nut and bolt that we'll be using later to put it all together. Now we're going to begin construction, the fun part. Here I am now polishing up the stem. It's a beautiful little silver piece. Oh, look at that. Nice and clear. And get ready to hand paint that one. We're gonna be painting it a nice green. Oh, there's my assistant, Harry. My assistant painter, always curious, checking it out. Yep, good paint. So we're getting that green paint. It's like a green acrylic. So we'll put that on a little cardboard piece. It'll take two or three layers to get it on there. So we'll put the first coat on and we'll let that dry. And then we'll put on more coats and then it'll just look absolutely lovely. Harry approved, look at that over there, checking it out. So here I am finishing up the first coat of the drawer pull. And we get drawer pulls and certain hardware like nuts, studs and bolts and such from the ReStore here in town. And the ReStore is a store that has recycled stuff such as lamps, tables, hardware for drawers, drawer pulls, things like that. So it's a good place and a good resource. It's very affordable and again, we saved the landfill from putting a bunch of garbage in there. And I see my little painting inspector is here. That's a good boy. So anyways, we're gonna let that dry and then we're gonna get ready to put it all together. There, the painting's done. Now I'm just gonna straighten up my strips so that they're relatively flat, so that they're easier to put together and easier to handle. And now we'll get our drawer topper, our little green stem. I'll take out the screw for that. 
and we'll attach all the straps to it through the center. Doesn't really matter what, I mean, obviously you can't put them, doesn't matter what order, just put them all on top of each other. Now that we've put the screw in there, we'll attach the drawer pull, a little stem. And when you tighten that up, don't do it overly tight because when you put the other part on, it'll be hard to rotate the strips. So just have it on there relatively tight so it doesn't fall off. And then when you're putting the other ends on here, like we're doing, you do do them in order. So you take one strap, put that one together. You take the next strap, put the one end, then the other end, so that they're in order. That's very important when it comes to making the wonderful shape that we're looking for. There, now everything's in place. We'll do the unraveling of the strips. Get the nice pumpkin shape and there you go. Almost a ta-da moment, but we're not done yet. So we got a nice shape there. Just readjust some of the straps. There, put it in its nice little carrying case and she's ready for decorating. There, now I have this wonderful, scary little spider boys and girls. We're going to start decorating our Halloween pumpkin obelisk. We'll put in the spider first and hang him from the stem. Ooh, scary. Look at those little beady eyes. Ooh. Next, we'll put in some colorful foliage. It is the season after all, autumn. So nice and colorful, orange, reds, yellows, very nice. So we have some leaves, we'll just wrap them around our pumpkin or inside our little pot. Wrap it around the pumpkin later. Just do some adjustments. Do, 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 do. Here we go, put some inside. Move old Spidey later maybe. He's kind of getting in the way actually, isn't he? but we'll move them out of the way. He'll look pretty good in there. And there you have it, the Halloween pumpkin obelisk, ta-da. If you enjoyed what you've seen, please watch our other videos. Hit subscribe and like, and I hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching, see you next time.